Okay, let me uh, turn to uh, Councilmember uh, Lalloy. Thank you. I wasn't going to say anything, but I, again, two years in a row, I have to uh, correct the record for some statements that were made inaccurately about things that I've said and things that I believe in. First of all, I spoke to many, many people about this ballot measure. Um, I was emailed about how inappropriate the, um, some of the actions by some of the folks who collected the signatures were, how they were angered by this. I also heard from many, many folks who indicated that they uh, had many questions about the earmarks placed in this. Um, I'm a little disturbed that Mr. Agron would say that any criticism of his work uh, is not fair. I, I don't believe that anyone is that arrogant to believe that they're uh, above reproach from any kind of uh, perfect work here. This is, this is not something that we as elected officials should be in favor of. We, we, I tried to get a, an alternative ballot measure placed before the voters, an alternative to allow the experts, which are the Irvine Unified School District, uh, to determine where the money should go. Mr. Agron indicated he did not even talk to the Irvine Unified School District about where the money should go. And so people out there should understand that the experts, the elected experts in Irvine who kept the Irvine Unified School District as the gold standard in Irvine were not consulted where this money should be spent. That's unfortunate. And I would have liked to have seen the IUSD uh, board brought in the officials from IUSD consulted, and they were not. And I thought, and I still believe, that, that folks are entitled to uh, an alternative ballot measure. But as far as criticizing the proposition, uh, I think every, every public official should be willing to have their work, their work, criticized and not be so sensitive about having their work criticized. Uh, I did not say that the, the, the proposition was lacking in merit. Apparently that's the new talking point. I will determine whether I'll vote on it or support it independently without an alternative ballot measure, which is part of the calculus of this situation. Uh, I think it's very disrespectful of the voters of Irvine to not allow them to have an alternative ballot measure to, uh, to choose from but with no alternative ballot measure. And the reason that none was put on was because I did bring it forward and there was no support from a third council member here. That's the reason it was not brought forward. There was no support for any, uh, for allowing the voters of the city of Irvine to have a choice here. It was, it was this, this ballot measure is basically the only choice that they're gonna be allowed to have. And I thought, and I still believe they should have a choice. So I will determine whether I'll support it on the merits after reading it and looking at it and determining whether it is something that should be approved by the city council. But I just want to correct the record to say that, uh, that we all here should be able to have our work criticized and that it's not lacking in merit, but that the voters should have a choice and an alternative, and I'm still of that belief. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Let me turn to uh, Council Member Choi. Okay, thank you. I just also want to give my rebuttal to uh, the criticism <laughs> that I am getting. I, I don't understand why uh, uh, colleague Councilman Egren chooses that word. I don't think we really uh, uh, criticized for the effort. We are all the, in the same page that uh, we uh, are in the same spirit to help the schools and the school students, uh, there's no, no question. We've been uh, big supporters uh, of this effort for many, many years. We only uh, uh, made the suggestions uh, if there was any alternative uh, since uh, uh, Councilman Agron uh, uh, particularly uh, uh, put down the school uh, board members for their inability how to run so uh, the, those uh, K-12 
categorization, uh, categorizations made, uh, like 11 different points that you see uh, the sum of $300,000 shall be used in connection with uh, such and such, and the categorical 11 different items. Uh, so this uh, were the uh, uh, areas uh, school uh, board members uh, disliked, and if they uh, were to receive uh, contribution from the city, then they are the ones who will know how to uh, utilize uh, such an extra uh, gift. So that was a, a discussion, and if there's any uh, a alternative method, and uh, Council Member Jeff Lalloway was uh, contemplating, and uh, it, it, uh, he uh, gave up in the middle. And the second point that I uh, want to make is that uh, uh, I think this uh, ballot measure by the citizens, grassroots citizens, is um, uh, enacted when the uh, legislative body would not act upon. But uh, here, uh, my substitute motion, the option number A is, uh, I think uh, we are more than ready and willing to adopt the option A as is exactly honoring 18,000 people who put their signatures onto it. So uh, I don't know when, why, what the purpose of uh, insisting upon, hey, I want to put this on the uh, general election for citizens to approve or disapprove, whereas uh, this legislative body most likely will adopt uh, the same concept, aiding the school districts as specified by 11 categories. So I don't even know whether legally, uh, maybe uh, our city attorney can, I'm sure he will say yes, uh, whatever you decide, that's his typical you know, <laughs> answer. So, uh, uh, but uh, legally speaking, I don't know why, if a state legislature um, is ready and willing to pass uh, a measure and enact a bill, and uh, one uh, legislator insists and uh, puts on his uh, own effort and uh, collecting uh, signatures and then put that through the uh, statewide uh, initiative uh, through the election, which will cost, uh, I'm sure, you know, tens of more thousand dollars, uh, whereas a uh, local here, un you know, fortunately, is a relatively small amount. Uh, so I made uh, just a symbolic, uh, uh, a, a small amount, uh, 10,500, can be added to that. So that will be savings of uh, uh, our effort, and um, the beneficiary uh, can be uh, even the amount is uh, insignificant, uh, but the symbolically, hey, uh, city has done best effort to save money and to give more money to the school district. So I thought uh, first adoption, I mean, first option is a wiser way to go and insisting upon why asking the citizens uh, will have to vote on when we can decide tonight the same effect. So that's what I am questioning, and uh, uh, whether this is uh, something that uh, the legally uh, uh, something that we have to uh, uh, review ourselves. Why such a stupid uh, action we have to do it? Uh, maybe you can, uh, city attorney can give us some uh, feedback on that, and uh, that was the whole point of uh, my substitute motion. So uh, that is my uh, decision on this matter. So with that said, we do have the uh, substitute motion uh, on the floor. We'll take the uh, substitute mo uh, motion first. Please vote. Motion fails two to three. Council members Agrin, Mayor Pro Tem Crom, and Mayor Crane 
King voted no. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the uh, item 6.1. No. No, oh, the, the, still the one. main motion. Okay. That's right. We have two, <laughs> two motion. So we go back to the original motion that was made by uh, Council Member Agron. Is that the uh, vote machine? Please vote. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you. That concludes the item. <laughs>